Okay, hi guys. Okay, so I had a little scare. I was using my new iPad and uploading videos and things like that. And so I kind of neglected my Surface, which is what I'm using today. And I thought it died. It would not turn on. Couldn't get the power to work. Couldn't get it to charge. Nothing. But today, it's back to normal like nothing ever happened. It just threw a temper tantrum, I guess. Um, been busy last couple days. Leah has come down with a little cold. I don't know if you guys heard her little coughing in her little fairy video. She loves all of the comments, you guys. So thank you so much for that, for supporting her. She was so super excited to post the video. All right. So we're going to play around with some foiling today, of course. That's what you guys are all here for. So you guys are, are you know, familiar with the new foil quill, I think. If you haven't been living under a rock lately, it's the new... Um, accessory for your die cutting machine like your silhouette cameo your Cricut your Sizzix electronic die cutting machine so I started to play around with it and I tried to put the glue pen in there and you can see it's smeared everywhere but what I did was after the glue went through I took a scrap piece of foil and just stuck it on the glue because this was getting stuck to everything. So if you can get a glue pen that's not going to smear, it might work out for you, but that was a fail for me. Fail number one. I was trying to get it to work without buying an actual foil quill for those of you who didn't want to get one or couldn't get one. All right, so here it is using the actual foil quill. Yes, I know it's beautiful. I don't know why it missed this spot over here. It must have been tape or something. Um, and then over here the, it did go under the foil there, but I can actually see where the line is and, um, I could fix it, but I probably will just leave it alone, but it is very pretty. I use, did use the Toto, uh, holographic gold foil for this. So then I thought, okay, what else can we do with this? So here's my problem with the, the foil quill. I do not have any patience. I cannot sit and wait for this thing. <laughs> Making its noise, clicking, jabbing back and forth. You guys know if you have one. It just takes forever. I just want it to print out and give me something pretty. So I'm cheating. For those of you who do not have the foil quill, you can buy the designs. This is the USB designs by Kelly or whatever it's called. Um, the Mandela designs. And if you have a laser printer, and this is the secret here, you must have a laser printer for this to work. You cannot print this out with a regular inkjet. It will not work. Okay. So I printed it out here on my laser printer on plain white copy paper. And I printed it out on black paper, although I think I had my settings better on the white paper than the black paper. We'll see if that's right or not. We're going to run it through the mink machine using good old-fashioned regular foil. And what I mean by that is, you know, whatever you have. So if you have the hot foil, it will work. I'm sorry, it won't work. You have to use regular foil. The hot foil works on um, glued images. If you needed to cover up any sticky areas, it will work on glue, but it um, it will not work on toner images. So if I run this on, through the toner images, it probably will not stick. So here you can see how this is how I had it taped to my board. So it's actually two pieces. I am not going to reuse this. I know you guys, I always tell you to save your pieces. Um, this is garbage to me. I'm not going to reuse it. It's just too much of a pain with all the tape all stuck around it. So I'm sorry this is going in the waste. But we have these two beautiful pieces. So we're going to start with the white one. And again, I'm just using my handy dandy foil bowls duster, which is going to get the dust off. Oh my gosh, you guys, I glitter bombed myself today. I have been making all of these beautiful cards to send out to you guys. By the way, I just sent out another four cards today and totally flew the lid off the glitter, went everywhere. It was crazy. Oh, this is just wide enough. I am using Creative Vision Stamps Foil in Hello Sailor, which is a nice blue color. Get in there. 
I am so glad it's starting to warm up, although everybody is suffering from allergies in this house. So I just need to go get my boat and get in the water and go fishing. All right, so I am dusting off the back of the foil, dusting off my image, I'm going to put everything in a transfer sleeve here. My mink has been warming up. It is on uh, number three, mini mink. Um, somebody did text me and ask me where you get a mini mink. I believe if you email Creative Vision Stamps, she may be able to send you out one. I don't know how much she's going to charge or shipping. I have no idea about any of that. But she does carry them at her show. All right. So I'm going to run this through the mini mink. While that one's going through, I am going to dust off this image. I can just tell that this is not, it doesn't look like it's full coverage to me. Like, um, the toner was set on regular print settings instead of high density, super black print settings. So I don't think it's going to come out as good, but we'll find out. There is glitter still all over the desk. Oh, there's a sequin too. So those of you who have been patiently waiting for cards, I appreciate that. They they are going out in the mail slowly but surely. I've, I've been mailing out a couple every day. Please be patient with me. My foil is stuck on the end. Here we go. That was weird. All right, and this is called Crystal Ballroom. This is probably one of my favorites. And again, this is regular foil, like deco foil. This is the best foil, in my opinion, Creative Vision Stamps foil. Um, but uh, you can use any kind of regular toner-based foil because this is a toner-printed design. Make sure there's no creases, no bubbles in our foil. We want everything nice and flat. So run that through. It barely fits in there. That's a big image. Okay. I'm going to give this one a second to cool down. Ready for the reveal. Ta-da! And I know it's hard for you guys to see on camera, but... That is perfectly foiled. So if you don't have the foil quill, but you want these cool foil designs and you have a laser printer, you can take your USB, print the design from your Silhouette Studio, laser print it, and then run it through your mink with the foil that you have and get the same foiled look as running it through the foil quill. And this is way faster <laughs> without all of the noise. I get both designs. All right, let's see how if that printed on the black paper. And now this I will keep and reuse because this foil is not all flimsy and damaged. This is good quality thick foil and I can reuse that. All right, let's try this again. Turn this off. That's not bad. All right, and the reason that didn't foil all the way is like I said, I knew from looking at it, it has nothing to do with the foil. It's the printer settings I had. I had it on regular print settings, which are not super dark. So when you are running these through your printer, you wanna make sure you set your print settings on um, the highest DPI, dots per inch and the highest density, which is the darkest you can get. Um, but this is still pretty cool. I'll still probably use half of this, but I knew it wasn't going to foil the whole thing because I could see that it was just real spotty when it printed. But there you go. That's how you use your foil quill printed images without the foil quill. You can use it with your laser printer. Or, you know, if you have a, a toner printer at work, don't tell your boss I said that. Um, you know, and you have a mink machine or a laminator, you can use that. So I also wanted to make an announcement. I did just film a video, um, and 
I am not done collecting things for the 8,000 subscriber giveaway. I literally have a box next to me and I keep going to the store and buying things and putting it in the box. So I'm sorry for the wait on that, but I want the box filled with stuff. So that's not ready to go out. However, Kathy Lear, your name got picked to win Arteza Markers. Um, now, Kathy... I do already have your address because at some point I must have sent you something, like a card or something. So I've already put it in the mail. Congratulations to Kathy. You're getting the Arteza, Arteza, however you pronounce it, 48 brush pen marker set. So yay, congratulations to Kathy. But hang in there, guys. I am not done. Like I said, I have the 8,000 subscriber box giveaway, and I'm still putting things in. And if you're not already a subscriber, click the subscribe button when it pops up. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. And also, um, don't forget to go over to Nancy Stamps 15 on uh, Facebook and Instagram and come on over there too. So I wanted to show you guys, I finished up this card. I took the Hero Arts background and I used that gold pearl embossing powder. I think it was from WOW. And I put this background, I don't know if the camera's picking it up there. Um, so I think that really sets it off and makes it look pretty. And some other cards I've already mailed out. This is what I have left. So Plenty of cards going out in the mail to you guys. You'll be surprised. Some of them are on future videos that um, haven't posted yet. Just a reminder, next week is going to be the um, week for Mod Squad Challenge. So I will be posting my link over there. And once again, thanks for watching, guys. And keep on stamping. Good night. Bye-bye.